Okay, we have the screen recording started. Clap for sync. Alright, now it's all synced up. That should, yeah. So, we're gonna do a takeoff. If the gimbals, motors, I, I, I need to get, I, I need, I need something that makes this higher. So we're just gonna put it over here. This should be a good area. And we're gonna keep the antennas. Oh God, I spilled my Mountain Dew. Okay. So we have it up and we are just gonna do a range test. You know, fly out that way. We're gonna see. But this has a four kilometer range, so I don't think I'm gonna fly it two miles away. I'm not brave enough to fly it two miles, and this is too expensive to lose. At least not yet. Um, sort of hard to see the screen, so I'm just sort of going to be guessing a lot of the time. We're at 350 meters. Oh, we get still getting still getting basically full bars over here. Got to keep it pointed at the drone. All right, we're at somewhere. Okay, we're about at we're approaching 500 meters. Now, most, uh, most things, uh, further than this are something, I don't know, I don't know what's really past this. So, I have not actually gone past here on my drone, so, we're just gonna try to keep pretty, I mean, height is the same sort of as range, going more further away is also going more high, so if I'm not comfortable going where I am, I'm just gonna ascend a lot. Not many trees are this high. I think we're getting we're getting some picked aircraft signal interference. Oh, no longer. Oh. All right, we're we're approaching approaching 600 meters. We're gonna try to do one kilometer. I am actually like really scared. I can feel the pee filling up my pants. No, I can feel the sweat building on my hands. That's that's less gross. Oh wow! So we're at um, eighty-four percent. I'm not scared about the battery losing power. We can see a lot of nice homes here. Oh 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 oh! We were getting a bit of. We had a little breakout in the footage. There. But we still have full bars, and we still have a decent amount of satellites, 17 satellites. Alright, we're at 800 meters. Okay, good. I wanted to go one kilometer, and we're getting close to that distance. Hopefully somebody doesn't shoot down my drone. Alright. So, I'm content with going half the range. We're at 900 meters, guys. We're so close. Oh, I think we're getting some some freezing in the footage. Either that or it's just going slow, so so slow. Okay, distance nine hundred ninety one thousand meters. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna do a return home now.
Actually, I'm going to cancel. I'm just going to fly back. So we're in sport mode now. I wanted to not just show P mode because realistically, people aren't going to just be flying in P mode, all right? Real, it's, I wanted to do a more realistic range test with a mix of P mode, maybe some quick shots, some sport mode. So I wanted to do a more realistic strong wind warning. Okay. All right, we're good. Yeah, unable to return to home. Yeah, it's 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 actually not that strong of a wind if you, you can't feel it because you aren't right here. So we're we're almost there. We're about at we're approaching 500 meters. Getting closer. Don't know exactly where it is. So that was uh, that was the range. One, I mean, we could probably go past that, but one thing I don't know really the the geography of this place, and I don't think I have two miles of clearance. Well, it's not two miles; it's two kilometers. No, it's four kilometers, which is a bit over two miles. Whoa, whoa! Uh, we're gonna do a return to home now. Okay, it's a bit far away from us. It's still 50 meters away. If you remember, the breeze had a unable to remove uh, a geofence of 100 meters. And yeah, that was not good. 100 meters, that's not very good range. So... This is much better, because you can actually change the geofence and make it more than 100 meters, and you can totally remove it, except for height, you can't remove that, which I don't think is too much of a problem. In the US, anyway, you can only fly 400 meters. Just a bit of cutting the grass there. So with the breeze, it could actually fly a while before it decided, oh wait, there's something blocking me. I can't fly here. Uh, this one, oh, it's it's so much different. It only, it doesn't really take too long for it to say, oh wait, I can't fly here. There's some blocking the motors. Which is good. That's more, that's less strain on the motors. It, uh, don't need to find I mean you can always take it off from on top of the uh, the thing I need I really need to get something for this I really need to get like a helipad okay hello so you can pan the gimbal all the way up and then all the way down hi um, so we're going to do a quick shot now. We are going to do a droney, and we're going to set it to 30 meters, and yeah, droney, 30 meters, st start, oh wait. wait, what am I doing, oh, tap the plus to draw a box, okay, start. Wow, this is some pretty strong wind. Oh, was it doing it? Oh, that's a droney. That's pretty cool. That's the droney. X up 30 meters. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. So now it's returning. Try rocket. The camera focuses downward on the target and rapid speed. We're gonna do 25 meters for this one. Rocket. 
and put the box around me, and then start. Three, two, one, go. Can't look up because it's hurting my eyes. My eyes are closed. Alright, uh, so. Oh, that's, that's really cool. That's, just, that's something I like. That's, I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know exactly where it's returning on to. Oh. Circle seems pretty self-explanatory, but we're near this, so we're going to try to do a wide circle. Um, sure, I guess, um, I don't know if it's going to hit the beam. I don't think it will. Wow. Wow, it's slow. That was cool. And let's try Helix. This is the only one I think I've tried. Actually, I don't even think I've even tried this. Let's do, uh, let's just do 30 for this one. Turn on box. Can we make the box? Can we do a second box? No. No, you can't. Alright. Go. I'm just doing a lot of this for sinking purposes. Oh, oh, there it goes. Bye, Mavic Mini. Bye. I meant, wow, that goes far and fast. That is really cool. A lot of these quick shots are really cool. Sadly, you can't do follow me. Uh, that's not something that returned from the breeze and some of their other drones. Uh, those were all the quick shots that I care to show. I'm just gonna go into video mode. Now we're gonna go a bit uh, closer. It's the Mavic Mini. Oh yeah, it's really cool, man. You should get it. Yeah, I love it. Uh, well, the d it can go about, uh, four kilometers. I mean, th uh, yeah, it can go about four kilometers or a bit over two miles. Yeah, over two miles. Uh, yeah. Yeah, on my phone. Yeah, that was... Those guys were cool. Alright, now we're back in mode P. So, we're just gonna, you know, do some flying. I think we did, yeah, so we did all the quick shots. We're gonna start the video now. Um, so I'm trying to sync all of this up. It's much more difficult, uh... Because I'm not used to this. I haven't done this in over a year. But I should be able to sync it up pretty well. Because we have three videos going. So if it's out of sync. Please tell me in the comments. And I won't read them. So we're going to go the, uh, the other direction. Um, we're going to go behind me. So, But the only problem with behind me is there's a lake. And I don't really want to fly it over a lake. Hi, Mavic Mini. Zoom. So, um, so since I'm recording this video, the screen recording is probably going to be as long as the battery life. I don't have a timer going. I was going to have a timer going. Do not hit that. Okay, let's go. Zoom. 
Yeah, even in mode P, this guy seems to go real fast. But in mode P, it's hard to tell, except for when you do yaw, it's hard to tell, like, that it's even moving, and you're not sure if the video froze. Not too much to fly around near here. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Fly this way. Let's descend a bit. We're gonna actually go a bit higher than that. I can hear it, but I don't see it. And that's always the best part of droning when you can hear it, but you can't see it. There it is. Hello. Hello. Zoom. Now that's a serious drone. Was that a pair of, a pair of disco? Sounds like a pair of disco. <laughs> Zoom, okay, I think. What the frick? Low battery, okay. 20%, let's get closer. Oh, that's. Low battery, no, no, cancel, cancel. I wanna, I wanna do the full fly thing with this. No, we're not doing that. Shut up! And this isn't the phone bat. This isn't the phone speakers. This is the controller speakers, which have no way to control them. So one thing I want to do is, so I'm going to, I'm going to go lower than the hill, and and I'm going to fly towards the hill and I'm gonna see if it adjusts its sensors because I've had the uh, breeze I was doing like some sort of thing some uh, I was doing like some sort of uh, like automatic shot thing no no we're not doing return to home and I want to see if it and I want to see if it just its sensors. Oh wow! Did you see that? Not sure if you saw that. Okay. Well. That didn't work, but. Oh wait. Let's see, is it upside down? Well, I wanted to see if when you fly into it, it'll sense. And it will sense it and it will go up. Wait, no, it's still. It's still up. Oh, did it die on me? No, no, it's still recording. I thought it died on me. Okay, we're at... We're at 6% battery. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is going on? The thing's just shaking. Uh, what's up with this gimbal? Gimbal motor overload or something? That doesn't seem very good. We don't want that. Whoa, whoa, it's all wobbly. What is up? Okay. Also, the gimbal seems sort of wet. I think it's because it rained last night or something. Okay. Well, there's something wrong with the... Well, we're at... Okay, we're at 6% and it's not letting me fly and the... Something happened with the gimbal. But, uh... I think that's an accurate... I'll have the, uh... Full flight time, full battery... Minutes up here somewhere. And... That'll be it for today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. <gasps> Bye!
Bum, <laughs> 